Travel File, a complete updated range of guides to what's happening and available in the travel world. Regular travel weather, holidays with famous celebrities, a full travel tech service, the most experienced holiday TV presenters. Hello, I'm Anne Gregg, and every week you can join me on Travel for Super Cities. In-depth guides, superb sites, currency rates, non-stop competitions to win fabulous holidays, breathtaking locations, European road information, fun guests. Join me, Lionel Blair. Hello, darling, I'm Fred Brown. Hello, I'm David Hamilton. I'm Jenny Agatha. I'm Dennis Healy, as if you didn't know. <laughs> I've always got a picture of her with me. Just like I always remember what she looks like, and there she is. And we all piled out of the balloon. And Roger was at the bottom, and as he came out of the bottom, we went, Oh, James Bond! <laughs> and special holiday bargain offers. Tickles your taste buds. And now you can join Bert Wolf on another of his culinary expeditions in a taste for travel. What's the best eating pattern for a pregnant woman to follow? And how do you choose foods if you want to reduce the effects of aging? Two of the most important diet questions now being answered by scientists. We'll check on their progress by visiting the Culinary Institute in Hyde Park, New York, and see how they're dealing with these challenges. We'll discover the methods used by supermodel, super mom, Kim Alexis, and uncover the techniques now being tested all over the world, plus some fabulous recipes. Join me, Bert Wolf, with a taste for travel. We start by looking at the Betty's nutrition at Hunter College. She graciously offered to share her recipe for a delicious, nutritionally well-balanced rice and potato soup. Two tablespoons of olive oil go into a saucepan. Then two potatoes that have been peeled and diced. Cook and stir them around for about seven minutes until they brown. Then add in two shredded carrots, two tablespoons of tomato paste, two bay leaves, two stalks of celery cut into small pieces, and 10 cups of chicken stock. All that cooks together for about 40 minutes. A little pepper to taste. And you add in a cup of long grain rice and cook about 12 minutes more or until the rice is tender. A few tablespoons of grated Parmigiano cheese, a little chopped parsley, and you're ready to serve. But remember, take out the bay leaves before you serve the soup. Let's take a look at the nutrition in this recipe. The carrots not only add a bright color to the soup, but they also contribute a fair amount of folic acid and vitamin A. 
Remember, any fresh vegetables such as carrots should not be kept out any longer than necessary or cooked too long. Excessive exposure to air destroys folic acid, so preserve this star nutrient and don't leave your carrot hanging around. The celery stalks provide a wonderful taste and texture, as well as some important fiber to the diet. The long grain rice is a complex carbohydrate in the soup, and if you want to vary carbohydrates, try brown rice or any kind of pasta instead. The Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York, is one of the leading schools for the training of professional chefs. Each year, their graduates are taken into the kitchens of great restaurants throughout the world. Francis Lopez is a chef instructor at the Institute with an excellent family recipe for rice pudding with fresh fruit. Tell me, which language would you like to be speaking in three months' time? Because it is possible. All it takes is a little application from you and a Linguaphone language course from us. With Linguaphone you listen, you repeat, and before you know it, you understand. Linguaphone have a wide variety of courses in 30 languages to suit every need, including cassettes and CDs. In fact, everything you need to speak another language whenever and wherever you like. So if you'd like a free information pack and demonstration cassette, just call Linguaphone free on 0800 123 300. Come on, what have you got to lose? rather weather-beaten fence is sort of the Malibu dividing line because on that side it's public beach on this side it's one of the most exclusive residential areas in all of California it is the colony the Malibu colony where since 1920 Hollywood movie stars have been coming well it's sort of a place to get away from it all and believe me they have gotten away from it all and they have built some of the most expensive homes we'll ever see Malibu Colony has a security for us, so to ensure that we could get some footage of the secret home sites, we hitched a ride with Julian Wasser, who illustrates clearly that when the going gets tough, celebrity photographers take to the sky. In Malibu, is there one place that is more preferable than another or along Pacific Coast Highway to live? I mean, if you're a celebrity and you want to impress your friends? Well, I've learned about to live in the colony. It's cozier. There are lots of people around. I certainly want to, want to live out in some uh, walled, secluded place in the middle of nowhere. I, you know, I want people around me. Hey, give me a rundown of just the celebrities who live out in this area, if you can. Ann Margaret, uh, Barbara Streisand, Ali McGraw, Carson. Paradise, an island fantasy where stars and celebrities from all over the world come to share their most intimate travel experiences with host Sally Faber. Each interview is conducted in strictest confidence. Only you are invited to join them as we sift in secrecy through their travel snaps. Well, today I'm joined by just the kind of guest who wants to spend a balmy afternoon on the beach with. She's been an actress for over 20 years, during which time she's starred in some of the most popular series on television. Well, she's trekked all the way here to share some thoughts and, of course, some souvenirs with me from a recent holiday in Kenya. And I'm very pleased to welcome Diane Jean to Paradise. Welcome, Diane. Thank you. I didn't know it was so close. <laughs> it is. It's just a quick hop, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Not so far. And are you a sun loving person? Oh, please, yes. Yeah. What were you doing in Kenya? I was holidaying, but I mean, it's home for me, so it's a long time since I've been back. So I went back, but also my husband had never been. And so we decided that we would just do it because it's something we talked about forever and ever and never did. So we did. And when you say it's home for you, what you were brought up mm. there, or how much yeah. of your childhood did you spend? Um, all of it. All was, of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I left when I was about 18, so I went to school there. and. and yeah. When you went back, do you think it's have changed a lot? It has changed a lot. Um, a, a lot of it's 
for the better, but the one thing that, that, that I found somewhat distressing was the fact that, you know, the land situation is, is, is taking its toll on the world, honestly, mm. which is a great shame. So when you were there, did you manage to get out and about and do mm. all sorts of touristy things? That, we did. Yeah. That you probably in your childhood you would have. No, I wouldn't have. We'd be no, dead. No. Really. Absolutely not. No, we did free safari, free safaris we did, and I insisted that they were tented safaris because I thought, well, now Neil, if you haven't been to Africa, you haven't been on safari unless you've been in a tent. So I I've got to show you this. This is one of the tents we stayed in. So no. that may realise. Just turn to text on your remote control, and you'll get travel text. Our very own Teletext service bringing you pages and pages of current information to help with all your travel plans. Plus our fabulous Get Ready and Go competitions to win free holidays. And that's not all. If you're booking a late holiday, Travel Text will have the cheapest late bargain deals you can find. You could save hundreds of pounds off the brochure price or find a cut price flight. So look out for the best deals on Travel Text, only here on Travel. Get a first class ticket and climb aboard for a... the original romantic hideaway to many of the adventurous travellers among us. A glorious gem of an island, Mauritius is somewhat little known to most of its European visitors other than its reputation for being picturesque and enjoying a balmy climate throughout most of the year. Its population is made up of many races living and working harmoniously together in a system of democracy and relative stability welcomed by all, not least the visiting tourists. Mauritius is a unique tourist destination. We have got a blend of Western and Eastern civilization. People from different cultures, different civilizations coexist peacefully together. We offer to the world a unique example of unity in diversity. And on top of that, we've got very gorgeous beaches, wonderful hotels, which offer a lot of uh, attractive facilities to tourists all over the world. The Mauritian people is known for its sense of hospitality, for its warmth of welcome, for its smile. And I would invite all people all over the world to come and be exposed to the, really, to the warmth of the Mauritian people. Mauritius is an oyster-shaped island far flung in the Indian Ocean between India and Africa. It lies 500 miles east of Madagascar and over a thousand miles from the coast of Kenya, covering some 720 square miles. It... Hello, and as we come to the end of today's weather, here are the forecasts for the next four days in Europe's capitals. I'm Cara Noble. Do have a good night. Secrets under the sun is the Caribbean hideaway of Anguilla, 
The low-profile neighbour of St. Martin is a secluded paradise you'll quickly come to regard as your very own island in the sun. Just a two-and-a-half-hour hop-hop from Miami, the 35-square-mile isle in the British West Indies boasts 12 miles of picture-perfect beaches. When MTV's sexy VJ Julie Brown said, I want my vacation, she grabbed her boyfriend and followed the sun to Anguilla. You know, the main reason for coming away is relaxing and just enjoying yourself, you know, just feeling free. And Anguilla is beautiful for that. You're not under pressure of anything. Anguilla is the kind of island where you don't have to pretend you're having fun. You don't have to go out and have loads of drinks and cocktails in the afternoon on the beach, you know, to have a good time. Um, you end up bringing out all the nice stuff inside of you that you've probably been too scared to let out in the city. But every now and again, I get a little freaky. You're <laughs> unbelievable. You're so unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Speed. I love speed. I love going really, really fast. So, um, the speedboat ride, I really, really enjoyed. And I love to be in control. So, I took the wheel. <laughs> I mean, it was really exciting, you know, going... This is Travel, TV that takes you there. And now, here's a look at programmes starting your day tomorrow. At 12 o'clock, Holiday Australia takes you to the best spots down under. At 12.30, get a first-class ticket for a railway adventure across Europe. Holiday Destinations with David Jacobs at 1 gives you an in-depth guide to a major resort. And at 1.30, travel expert Anne Gregg explores one of the world's super cities. Then at two, join Hannah Hawkswell, our innocent abroad, as she leaves Britain's shores for the very first time. And at 2.30, Elizabeth Luard explores the rich tradition of food, drink and culture that Europe has to offer. All coming up here on Travel, TV that takes you there.